Our team had a memo today that smelling salts and ammonia packets were made illegal in the NFL. Wow. And I've been distraught all day. I considered retirement. Uh, we got to figure Mr. out Goodell. middle ground here, guys. Let's break down the medical side of smelling salts. These salts typically contain a preparation of ammonium carbonate and perfume. When inhaled, it literally burns the mucous membranes of the nasal passages and lungs, thereby triggering the inhalation reflex. This reflex alters the pattern of breathing, resulting in improved respiratory flow rates, increased heart rate, blood pressure, and possibly alertness. There's a possible theoretical benefit in performance due to the increase in oxygen to your brain and muscles. However, it's important to note that this is not backed by any strong scientific literature at this point. As of right now, sports medicine literature does not support the use of smelling salts due to the risks likely outweighing the benefits. For example, recall last year when Josh Allen was likely knocked unconscious and was subsequently offered smelling salts, then returned quickly after missing just one snap. While salts are popular amongst many athletes, the medical concern is that they may compromise player safety by masking concussion symptoms and even help players clear concussion protocol evaluation during a game. This could pose significant health risks, including the potential for second impact syndrome, a rare but often fatal condition in which the brain swells rapidly after a second concussion occurs before the symptoms of a previous concussion have fully resolved. It can lead to severe neurologic damage, brain herniation, or death. Also rarely, this reflexive jerk backwards, this can further exacerbate spine or brain injuries. Chemical burns can occur. A uh, message by the NFLPA specified yesterday that the league's ban on smelling salts only applies to clubs providing it to players. This is one way of the NFL avoiding possible legal implications while allowing players to use salts at their own risk.